Hi, so I have a Grafana bar chart here with multiple series and I've been looking for actually documentation on how to do this and it was not very straightforward. So for example, on the Grafana documentation, this is really all you get and it's not very helpful. Uh, so I imagine if you're here, that's probably what you found also. So let me go ahead and show you here that, uh, you know, this Grafana bar chart has multiple series as you can see. And on the axis here, there is the months from 1 through 12, but also at, down at the bottom here and on the bars here, you could see the series. The series are by year, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014. And if I hover over it, you could see that there's the values of the particular bar for that particular year. So let me go ahead and show you how this is actually done. Now, Grafana and that particular bar chart component actually expects a particular format. And the format is actually this type of table here that you see at the bottom. So this table is actually the same exact data as the bar chart with multiple series above. So let me switch over to uh, my SQL Server here. So I am using the SQL Server database, but this would be the same for MySQL, Postgres, or any other type of data set. You know, it doesn't have to be a relational database, but that is what I'm using here. So uh, you'll notice here at the bottom, I have that particular same format that I have at the Grafana here. And so what you'll see here is the way I was able to format this particular query to look like this. Now, let me go over some of the basics here. So I have some mock sales data here, and this is the particular table format. So let me show you the first 10 rows here of just very standard data. There is a date here that I'm gonna base my sales date on. And then there is this table that I am gonna query against. Now normally, if you wanted to know the monthly sales broken by year, um, you would uh, have an aggregate function that counts the particular rows grouped by that particular year and month. And the data, and the query is very basic here, and the data would look like the following. So the data would kind of look like this. So this is basically a very kind of basic query that what we're all very used to. Things are grouped by basically year and month and that is the total of the number of rows. And it, that equates to the number of sales in that particular month. Now I have to create a, what you would call transpose these rows into columns. Or another word for that is to pivot this data into a pivot table. So if I show you that particular pivot table, it's the format that that particular Grafana bar chart component expects. So here you'll see the columns and these columns are the series. And this is the access. And this particular data is the data for each particular bar. So um, what I will show you here side by side, the two queries, the query that were usually pretty familiar with at the top here. So you could see 2011, month five, 357 is the total number of sales. And the same data represented in a pivot table or transposed is month five, year 2011 is 357. And if I scroll all the way down, just to give you an exa another example, 2014, month six is 2030. And that's where this 2030 comes from. Now, if I copy and paste this entire query here, and let me just show you that entire query is just the same query there. And let me show you that in the edit, you'll see that this is the exact same query. Now, what I have to do here is um, just basically paste the query, but I also have to format, change the format. So normally it defaults to time series. And you'll, you'll notice here that it's not populating, so I have to switch it over to the table. And sometimes this doesn't populate, in which case you will click on the generate Qu uh, SQL and then it'll uh, populate the graph here. But um, the other thing I have to do is not only change the format as to table, 
I have to go up here to the bar chart. Usually it defaults to time series, and so it's not gonna show that. The time series expects a particular field named time. I'm not using that, I'm using the bar chart. So I'm gonna switch over the bar chart and it'll show up here. Now, the other thing you could do is also just basically change um, the palette. So here you have a color scheme. Here it's the classic palette that I've chosen, but you could choose multiple color schemes or just even a solid color if you wanted to. I'm gonna change back to the classic pattern here. So um, that is basically how you do the multiple series by formatting the data in the way that the chart component expects. Now, if you don't format the data from the query itself, you're gonna to have to transform it basically manually here using these fields. Um, but I think it's actually easier simply to write the query and transform the data in the format that it expects. So, so just going back to this uh, documentation here, nothing in this documentation will explain that to you, what I've just explained. Um, the other thing I also wanna show is just going back to this panel. So if I go back to this panel here, what you will see is that the, the bottom here, I actually have the table. And that particular table is actually the same exact data that I have at the top here. So. Uh, for example, if I edit this particular table, you could see it's simply, the format is simply the same, it's table, but here I've chosen table. So if I choose bar chart, it'll just end up being this. And if I scroll all the way back down, as I shown before, with the palette, the color scheme, it comes back to this, but if I choose table, I will get this particular table. So I'm just gonna click apply here and go back. So I wanna format this here and show that table alongside the actual data of the bar chart itself. So th that's really it. That is actually the secret sauce to how you do multiple series using this bar chart. Um, and that's really what I wanna go through. Now I'm gonna have other uh, tutorials on how to do the time series and how to do multiple series on the basically um, line graphs and stuff like that. So uh, stay tuned for those videos. Um, if this video was helpful, definitely support this channel by thumbs up the channel and also subscribing. And thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Thank you.